Hello, fair explorer of the internet. Whether you've stumbled upon this video yourself, or somebody has shared it to you, welcome! My name is Michael. So, as you might be able to tell, my hair, and a lot of them, a lot of the hairs on my head, have been cut. And so I was like, you know, I feel spiffier having a, having a haircut. So you know what? I'm gonna dress up a bit. So I wore this, and then I was like, well, I this week I'm going to be talking about time, so obviously I have to wear a bow tie. So, this happened. But anyways, so, like I just said, this week I'm going to be talking about time, and just sort of, you know, tiny, tiny whiny. I mean, people assume that time is a strict progression from cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more of this big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Yes, I memorized that. At least I'm not wearing a fez. Oh. Scratch that. So, as you can tell, I'm a big Doctor Who fan, and I like time. Time is wibbly-wobbly and tiny wimey So, I just like to think about time every so often, and, like, time is interesting, and I like to talk about it a lot. And, more specifically, like, I like to learn- I like to learn about the past, and I like to dream about the future. I don't really live in the present, which is good and bad, but I like to learn about the past, and not really- the past, like, the War of 1812, or, you know, any, you know, I don't like to learn about that, I like to learn about people's experiences. Like, so I enjoyed learning about Anne Frank, and her diary and all that. And I love to hear people's stories about different things. Maybe not exactly what they did that day, but mainly sort of like, so those funny stories that people tell around Christmas time, or whatever, around family gatherings. Along with that, I like to talk about myself. Yeah. I mean, I like to tell to stories about myself and stuff. They're normally not as interesting as other people's stories, but it's all about the past. I love learning about the past. I love telling about my past, having people tell me about their past, and learning about the past of people. Not big world events, but just people. I love people. Even though I'm horrendously socially awkward. Yeah. But, anyways, so, the past is amazing. I love the past. It's interesting, but people's past, not, not events past. But then, there's the future. The future is amazing. And, as the world of, the world, no, the words of Walt Disney, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. And that's pretty pretty true. I I love Disney. Disney, Doctor Who, computers, boom. Me in a nutshell. But yeah, Disney, Carousel of Progress. It's just the Carousel of Progress is probably one of my favorite things in Disney. Just because like the time progression is just so cool. I just am fascinated with time. I mean, Time, time, is tiny, time, yes. Um, there is a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. That's pretty true. And I love to dream about the future. I mean, yesterday, literally all I was doing was just thinking about, future, about the future and future of YouTube and the internet, really. And it's just this... I can't describe it. There's so many things you can't describe. Time is one of them. And it's just... I don't know. There, You can't describe time, because time is an enigma. It's just this... thing man has created to help organize ourselves. And so... You know, time is wibbly wobbly timey wimey and you know things have happened in the past and that's why we learn and bad things have happened in the past and that's why we learn about the hit about 
history, the history of the Earth and the history of us. And then there's the future, and we plan out the future using time, and, you know, we make the future using our past experiences and other past experiences to forge the future. And then there's the present. The present is the present. There's not much to it. It's this moment. And this moment can change everything. It's this wonderful world, and every little thing makes a difference, no matter how small. But, anyways, that's, that's my inspirational, my inspirational blurb of the day. So, thank you so much for watching. I know this was sort of like a bit more rambly. I, I call these ramble rants, if you haven't noticed already. Um, and I really rambled. I didn't really have... Normally I have sort of a script in my mind. I'm like, okay, I need to talk about this, 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 and this. Today I was just like, there are things here, there are things there, there are things there. It's That's time. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more about me sitting here in front of a camera talking, you should hit that subscribe button and be notified. Okay, the camera died right when I was talking. So, like I was saying, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. It's very nice to see a bunch of thumbs up. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to ramble on about, you know, pop, pop them in the comments. If you'd like to be uh, updated whenever I upload a new video, hit the subscribe button. And my hands are very shaky right now. I don't know if you can tell. I can't tell. By the light. Anyways, fine by the light of flashlights. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!